How you doing? Anyone that caught my blog yesterday would see that I uh, was down at the, the supermarket and I picked up some really cool stuff in the form of a adult Halloween witch's mask. She's quite cute as well. I might cut her out and keep her for later. But anyway, this stuff, I'll take it out, is absolutely ideal for the pike fly fisher. I mean, check the amount of stuff on that. It's nearly as long as mine. <laughs> hey! But anyway, I needed to do some black flies, so it was pretty um, handy that I actually came across this. And it was only £3 UK. Halloween time's brilliant. You can get these things in all sorts of different colours. So stock up where you can. Okay, so with that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to make a really fast fly. Let's just switch this back in. Using this artificial hair from the supermarket. Okay, so what you're going to need for this is um, you're going to need a, a UV tack like this. UV light. These are from Deer Creek. Um, pretty much this stuff, this stuff is probably the best on the market. Dries completely tack free. Dries in seconds with this torch, but I'll show you that later. And it's got a great use for the pike fly fisher and fly tire. Um, Crock glue. Again, Deer Creek, you're going to need a clear thread, black pen, lighter, and the hooks I'm using is today going to be the Orvis Pike and Muskie hook. Really quite a good hook because I need a black hook for this basically because I want to keep the fly all black. Okay, so what I've done um, is I've put a few wraps down backwards and forwards on there and now I'm going to put in some crock glue just along the shank there. That's going to hold the material in. And thanks to the postman there for pushing another parcel through my door while I'm doing this. Live TV, huh? Okay, so what we do, we're going to grab a length for this. Just pull it out. Okay, and we're going to measure it up to how far you want, how long you want your fly to be. I'm going to go about there. Okay, so now we're going to cut that off. Seem to have mislaid a pair of scissors somewhere. Uh, my wife has probably stolen them for some job like doing the children's feet. Okay, so I'm going to cut that off just there. Okay, even that all up. And then place that on top like this, and then round. Okay, and then bring that all the way down. Down to there. What that's going to do, bringing it down to here, it's going to, when you're casting this, it's going to stop that from getting right around the hook. Okay. And bring that all the way back up. Okay. Now, We'll get some varnish. Not very organised today. Okay, so we get some just clear varnish and just place that And as you can see, it makes that thread go invisible. Yay. Okay. So, that's that done. What I want to do now is go back to your cool wig. And just find some strands. Okay. So, do, so now what you want to do is grab a, a hunk like this. Measure it up so it comes to just around... Flip it up just over halfway, just maybe three quarters of the way back, like that, hold that, and then cut it. Okay, now what we're going to do with this now is we're going to half it, like that, and then we're going to half that again. Okay. 
and then half that again. I think there's some children being kidnapped outside by the sounds of it. Anyway, hollow out pen like that and some clock glue. There's my phone ringing now, can you believe that? It's not a good day for doing videos anyway, okay. So, place that one on top there. Like that. And the longer sections one in the side right there. Now you notice I'm leaving some back here because when you hollow tie this that's going to give you a good firm base because it's quite a, a light fly and there's not a lot of material there but that gives you quite a solid base to stick an eye onto and that's why it's back there. So we get that one on as well. Okay and get the under piece. Now what you've got to remember the longest piece when you that's the way you're going to tie it in when you fold that back the longest piece is going to be at the back so you want the shortest piece first and the longest piece so when you tie that back it's going to taper. Okay we'll tie that in like that And feel where your eye is and bring that back up. Just there. okay, that's good. Now what I'm gonna do is just for a bit of extra security, I'm gonna just give that a quick coat of crock glue. This crock glue stuff honestly is just seriously, seriously good stuff. It really does stick, doesn't come off, does the job. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to loosen them up a bit and then we're going to hollow tie this. So get that pushed back, as you can see, it's coming back. When it gets to about there, I like to just push it, tease it back like this. Make sure it's quite even. a bit tricky sometimes. Just keep building it up till you catch it. And there I've broken the thread. Okay, here's a here's a here's a good thing. Because if you break a thread, don't panic. What to do is just pull it out and take your thread again. Now can you see where that's broken? Just there. Okay what we'll do take that round like that snip the excess away and you're good to go again you'd have to start again okay so that's all good now that's the main what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tie in a little extra so measure it up give it just a wee bit more bulk on the back there Okay, spread it around slightly. Okay, just check that. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay. And then we'll just tie that off. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now is the old trick of the lighter. See these excess bits here. Okay, we'll just kind of heat them up slightly. And just get rid of them. 
if you've got a lot of time what you can do is just keep heating that and shaping it and you can get a nice shape there but I don't really bother too much it's not a massively important thing I don't think okay now you might wonder why I've not put any flash in this fly well this stuff has actually got quite you might not see it on the camera but it's actually got quite a sheen to it and it kind of almost looks kind of bait fishy it's like that flash in the water that you sometimes see that you know when there's a big school of bait fish around so I tend not to put any flash in these black flies you can you can if you want it's, up, it's really up to you but I've caught the same amount of fish on flies with it and without it so it's, it's really up to yourself okay so as you can see there put varnish on that and it's gone completely completely see-through okay so now the next trick they use some eyes, isn't it? These are these are quite big ones. Yeah, we use them. Okay, now what a lot of people will do, they'll go, I'm guilty of this as well, blah 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 and then stick their eye on. But the other way you can do it is just actually apply the glue to the eye just like that okay and what you do with this I'm just to the side first is just find your position and just push that down like so The other one. I just hate that when you do that. You put an eye down and it just completely disappears. Okay, I'll find it later. It was there and now it's gone. It'll turn up later, probably in the kids' dinner. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Same again. Crock clue on the back. It really is. Honestly, I can't. I can't keep stop going on about this stuff because it is really, really good. Okay, and we'll just push that together. And that, near as damn it, is pretty much going to be it. Okay. What we do now give a wee bit of a, a solid head on this using the uh, the tack free UV. So just squeeze it out there. Over the top of that head. And that's it. Solid. Now, that's your basic black fly right there. Okay. Nice big long bait fish. Yeah, you can trim it up if you want. You can 